What's up everyone? Today I'm going to take you through the process of getting a video from Premiere Pro to Instagram. I'm going to prepare three different versions of the same video clip, all with different aspect ratios, including landscape, square, and vertical. Then I'm going to show you how to set up a few export presets that are going to allow you to very quickly prepare videos for Instagram in the future. And then finally I'm going to show you how you can transfer your video files from your desktop to your mobile device so you can upload your videos to Instagram. Okay, so I have Premiere Pro open here and I have the clip that I want to use. And so I'm going to grab just the video because I don't want the audio of this particular clip. I'm going to drag this over the new item button. And so that creates a new sequence based off of the settings of this clip. So I want you to know the settings of the actual source clip are pretty much irrelevant. Everything that we're going to do here is in the export settings dialog box. So if you look here, our source file is 1920 by 1080. So that's what this sequence is set up as. So this is just simply a 15 second clip of a man walking up on some sand dunes here. So we want to put this on Instagram. And the first version that we want to put on Instagram is going to be in the landscape aspect ratio. So to export this, I'm going to hit Command M to open up the export settings dialog box. Now here's where we're going to do all of our adjustments here. So let's go through these one at a time. Now first up is format. For Instagram, we always want to use the H.264 format. Now we don't have a preset set up yet, but after we set up our, adjust all of our settings for Instagram, we're gonna create three different Instagram presets by clicking this little button over here. Okay, so first we wanna go down and normally we would check uh, export audio, we wanna turn that off, but since we're creating a preset, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that selected so that will be saved out in our preset. Now, if we go down here to the basic video settings, this is where we're gonna make all of our adjustments. Now, Instagram supports a, a wide variety of aspect ratios, including 16 by 9. So right now this is a 16 by 9 video, 1920 by 1080 resolution, which is perfectly fine. So we're going to go ahead and leave that. Now if we scroll down, the max frame rate at this point in time of, the rec of this recording is 30 frames per second for Instagram. So we're going to change that to 30. We're going to leave field order and progressive. Uh, the pixel aspect ratio is set to 1, which is perfectly fine. So the only other changes we need to make here are on profile. We can change profile to high, and then we can select render at maximum depth. And now here is an important part, which is the bitrate settings. So you have three different bitrate encoding settings here. You have constant bitrate and then two different versions of variable bitrate. We want to change this to two pass. And then we want to change our target bitrate. We want to make that a little bit smaller because right now it's pretty good. But if we're looking, this is going to create, uh, it shows us our estimated file size down here, which is 18 megabytes. So, and this is only a 15 second video clip. So right now, Instagram supports up to 60 seconds uh, video clips in length, the duration. So if we had a little bit longer of a clip, like say something that was at 60 seconds, this file size is going to be a little bit larger. So we want to keep this file size down. So to do that, we can change the bitrate. Let's take the target bitrate down to 5 and maximum bitrate to 7. And so now we are good to go with our settings here. So you can see this changed to custom. So now we can go and select Save Preset. And I'm going to type in Instagram Landscape. And now, so for the future, we can just quickly select this preset and we don't have to change all the settings. So we select OK, and then I'm going to change the name here to Great Sand Dunes Landscape. And that's saved to my desktop. So now I can go ahead and export this. OK, so that version is exported and ready to go. Now I'm going to go back into the Export Settings dialog box, and now we want to Let's just reselect. So you can see our preset is set up here now. We can select Instagram landscape. That's going to adjust all of our settings. But now we just want to simply change the aspect ratio or the resolution. So if I go down here, I can uncheck this box and then manually change this. Now the aspect ratio I want to go with now is 1 to 1 or square. So to do that, I'm just going to type in the exact same width to height ratio. So we'll do 1080 by 1080. Now if you look over here, we have a problem. We have these black bars on the bottom and top, and that's because of our source scaling is set to scale to fit. I'm going to change that to scale to fill. And now our square is ready to go, and I'm going to save out this preset. 
Instagram square. Select OK, and then we'll rename the file to square, and go ahead and export this one. Now that one's all finished, and last but not least, we're going to do the vertical version, which is just slightly more vertical, obviously, than the square. So we have square selected here. I am going to change this to, now for the, the aspect ratio for what, what, which I'm using now is four to five. So for this, I'm gonna do 1,000 pixels wide, and then for the height is 1,250. And you can make whatever resolution you want. Um, there, are, there are minimum requirements, which uh, if you look at the link for Facebook ads page uh, that I included in the description, you can find the minimum resolutions there. So there's our vertical settings. Let's save out this preset to Instagram vertical. Select OK. We'll change our file name once again. Great Sand Dunes vertical. And now we'll export this one, and then we'll have our three files ready to go. Okay, so our video is all exported. Let's go have a look at the files. I'm here in the finder. You can see all the different aspect ratios here. We have vertical, square, and landscape. Now let's see how we can get these files uploaded to Instagram. Now the first thing I want to do is we need to transfer these files to our mobile device. Now there's a few different ways you can do this, but I'm going to show you specifically how I do it, which is by using Google Drive. So I have my Google Drive account pulled up on my desktop here. Now I can go over to the Finder and I've created an Instagram videos folder here. Now I'm going to drag all of my files here over to my Google Drive. You can see they're uploading. Once the files are uploaded, I can go over to the Google Drive mobile app. I can select one of the video files and choose send a copy and then I can select Instagram and upload it directly. If you're on a Mac, you can also use Apple's AirDrop feature. I wanted to make a quick note that this is not the only, obviously not the only way to get videos to Instagram. Now, the reason I picked this workflow is because my videos are going to be exported to a variety of different platforms and different devices. So it's not just Instagram. That's why I was using strictly the export settings and export presets. However, if I was doing mainly videos strictly for Instagram, I could create sequence presets. And to do that, I could just go into sequence, do some, uh, make some Instagram sequence presets, and then through nesting and using the Instagram presets that I have here, I could, um, I wouldn't have to adjust as much with my export settings. But again, there's always different ways to do the same thing. It's just really dependent on your workflow and what you prefer. All right, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, give it a share. And let me know how you get your videos to Instagram if you do it differently. I've seen a variety of different tutorials, people doing it differently. It's always very interesting, so feel free to leave a comment if you think that there's a different way that you could do it that's much better. I'd love to hear from you. All right, have a great one.